In this video, I'll go through exam questions which cover the intro three criteria, link in two, count, read, write, order and compare numbers up to 1000. You can locate the exam questions here in orange within the massmass.com website. So you have the non-calculator exam questions first and then you move on to the calculator questions. They are from different exam boards. So this one is from NCFE. Claire wants to buy holiday insurance. She finds this information. She thinks that insurance company C is the cheapest. Is she correct? Let's have a look. So we've got company A, £295. Company B, £275. Company C, £259. D, £297. E, £272, F, £257, G, £279. So, they all over £200, but less than £300. So, what we're going to need to focus on in order to compare them is the second digit, the tens. So, here we've got 9, here 7, 5, 9, 7, 5, 7. So the smaller this digit, the smaller the number overall. The higher this second digit now, the higher the number overall. So we're looking for the cheapest, for the lowest number. Out of 9, 7, 5, 5 is the lowest. So we've got company C and company F being the lowest of them all. So these are the two that we're going to focus on. We're going to disregard the rest because they are bigger than these two. They are more expensive than these two. So now we've got two being the same, which is the first digit, the most important, the one with the highest value. We've got the second digit of these two numbers being the same as well. So 250, 250. Now we need to focus on the final digit, the units or the ones so this is 259 this is 257 7 is lower than 9 so for that reason f is the cheapest she thinks that insurance company c is the cheapest but we've seen that this isn't right so we're going to say no company f is the cheapest. Here is another non calculated question from NCFE. Carly researches dog breeds. She reads that there are 332 different breeds. Write 332 in words. So that is 300 and 32. Now some questions from City and Girls. Write 300 and 2 in figures. So 300 and 2. No tens in the middle. So we put a 0 in between 3 and 2. Write these numbers in order. Start with the smallest. So we've got 432, 250, 950, 180, 775. So we've got to focus on the digit with the highest value first, which is the first digit, because that represents the hundreds, which have much higher value than the tens or the units. So we have 4, 2, 9, 1, 7. So we're going to start with the smallest, so 
which one is the smallest out of these numbers, 4, 2, 9, 1 and 7? That is 1. For that reason, this number is the smallest of them all. Because if the first digit is the smallest, then it doesn't really matter what they have in their second or third digit. So 180. Then what comes after 1? We've got 2. So 250. Then 3, but there are no numbers that start with 3 here. We've got 4, so 432. Then we have 5, 6, which are not here, and then we have 7. So 775, and finally 950. Now we've got some calculator questions. You can use a calculator from this point. Some questions from Edexcel. Ria and her friends want to rent a flat. They want the flat to be lower than the fifth floor. They want a flat that costs between £875 and £925 per month. Ria finds information about flats to rent. Which flat do they choose? Tick the correct answer. So we're looking for a flat that is lower than the fifth floor and costs between eight hundred and seventy five and nine hundred and twenty five pounds. So looking at the first option, flat A, sixth floor. Automatically that's out of the question because we need it to be lower than the fifth floor. Flat B, third floor, that is lower than the fifth floor. Rent is £895. So that is between £875 and £925. So it's higher than £875 and lower than £925. Flat C, fourth floor, rent £935. That is higher than £925. So it's not an option that we pick. Flat D, second floor, which is good, rent is £867. So that is lower than £875. Flat E, 7th floor, so automatically we don't need to look at the price because it's above the 5th floor. Flat F, 1st floor, which is good, rent is 870. So that is lower than 875. So the only correct option is flat B. Brett prints documents for customers. Each document has a number. Brett prints documents in number order from smallest to largest. What is the number of the second document that Brett prints? So not the first, not the third, it's the second document. Tick the correct answer. So we've got 546. We've got 504, we've got 605, 460, 560, 540. So let's just put them in order, starting with the smallest. So looking at the first digit, 5, 5, 6, 4, Five, five. So the lowest is 460 because it starts with 4, the lowest number. So 460. Then we're looking for a number that starts with 5 and not 6. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 of them. 
Now, to differentiate and find the smallest number out of them all, we need to look at the second digit. So there we have 4, we have 0, 6 and 4. 0 is the lowest of them all, so the next smallest number is 504. Now we don't need to continue any further because we've got the number that we need. That's the second smallest number, 504. So we're going to tick that. Now some calculator questions from NCFE. Mina also checks the websites to see how many people each cinema holds. Write the cinemas in order from the smallest number of people to the largest number of people. So we're going to start with the smallest number. Again, 988, 912, 998. So we're going to focus on the first digit. That's the same for all three of them, which means now we need to focus on the second digit. So 8, 1, 9. 1 is the smallest of them all. So for that reason, this number is the smallest of the three. So that is style of cinema. Because the question is asking to write the cinemas in order, not the numbers. Now between Film World Cinema and Ronald Street Cinema, let's have a look. Second digit is 8 for Film World Cinema and second digit is 9 for Ronald Street Cinema. So 8 is lower than 9, so this number would come next. So Film World Cinema and then Ronald Street Cinema. I'll make this lowercase. Not that it makes any difference in terms of maths, but I just want it to be correctly done. Students go to a welcome meeting in the hall. There are seats for 812 people. Write 812 in words. So these questions, they're not all part of one. They picked from different exam boards, different papers, as I said. So don't worry if it says students go to welcome meeting and you haven't got any context about students. Just focus on the question. So the question is asking to write 812 in words. So 812. The restaurant manager has a list of how many students eat lunch there each day. What is the lowest number of students? So we've got Monday with 253, Tuesday with 325, Wednesday with 523, Thursday with 235, Friday with 352. So we need to pick the lowest number. So focusing on the first digit always which one is the lowest out of two three five two three so two would be the lowest we've got two of them so we're focusing on monday and thursday so now we need to look at the second digit so that's a five and this is the three so three is lower than the five that means thursday has the lowest number of students and that is 235. Mm -hmm. 
Staff at the airport have 269 stickers to put on the bags. Write 269 in numbers. So 269. Amy takes 613 pounds to the bank. Write 613 in numbers. Okay, so 613. Rachel and her son are going to the festival on the train. The train has 202 seats. Write 202 in words. And this is the end of the questions.